Hey dolls, welcome back and thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. If you're new here, my name is Amber Machon and I do weekly DIYs, hauls, and other fun things. If you're not new, hey doll, hey. In today's video, I am super excited. I am doing a Kirkland dupe collaboration with my good, sweet friend, Jenny over at Lovely Moments Creating. And we are bringing you guys four inspired pieces that you can make with so much less. You guys gotta check out Jenny's channel if you already don't know who she is. She gets amazing. Not only is she one of my good, closest, dare I say, best friends here on YouTube. She is an amazing crafter and she does a really great budget-friendly DIYs that I know you guys are going to love. So make sure you go ahead and check out her video after you've watched mine. Her link to her, the link to her channel will be in my description box below. So yeah, if you're new and come from Jenny's channel, hello and welcome. I would love if you would consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you're notified every time that I upload. <laughs> All right, let's jump in the video. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to recreate these floral frames. I think they're so pretty, but I know I can make them for a lot less. So from Dollar Tree, I'm using their rub-on transfers in two 5x7 white frames. So what I'm going to do is just cut out all of the floral pieces. This piece would look a little, is going to look a little bit different because um, my floral pieces are just black. So it's essentially just like a black and white frame. There's no colored florals. If you find them at Dollar Tree, like they have the green ones, then you can incorporate those in it. But I just use the black floral pieces that come on these alphabet Revlon transfer sheets. And all I did was just cut down all of the little pieces. It did take a while, but I just watched some at Netflix and Hulu and start cutting and start placing them around the frame and then just started rubbing them on and then taking off the film on the back super easy you guys this one was so simple to make so much less inexpensive it literally cost me three dollars to make this and i think they are just so so cute and it adds some extra umph to your decor i just think it's really gorgeous Next up, we are recreating these ceramic jars. Yes, $139 for these, and I just knew I had to make them. They're not gonna be quite exact, but let's get started. So from Dollar Tree, I'm taking three of their short cups, like their tumbler cups, their glass, as well as three of these little sauce, um, uh, not vases, they're like saucers or whatever, right? So I'm using a combination of hot glue and E6000 to put on the rim of the cups and then attach the saucer on top. Now I did think about using the cylinders for this, like the tall and the medium sized cylinders, but when I put the small saucer on top, it just looked really weird. So I went with the shorter cups. And then I took two of them and painted them on white using my Waverly chalk paint, and I gave it about two coats. And then for the lids, I painted them using my chocolate sprinkle color, but then I realized that it was too dark, but I'll change that in a second. For the third cup that is like printed florals on it, I'm just going to take this um, a book of scrapbook paper that I picked up from Walmart and tear out the sheet that has the pretty florals on it. And all I did was kind of measure out the length of the cup and then cut that down and then i also just cut down strips um, of this uh, paper because the way that the cup is shaped it doesn't evenly go around like the scrapbook paper doesn't evenly go around so i think i cut it down in like three inch um like rectangles and then i just adhered them onto the cup using my glue stick and then to get it to stay in place i just um, covered that up with some mod podge and let it dry overnight this part is really easy i mean i didn't really 
care for me having to cut down the paper, but it was the only way that it was going to work. And I just kind of lined it up as best I could to where it could still kind of flow as one piece. Um, and then adding the Mod Podge and then sanding it down a little bit gave it more of that rustic farmhouse charm that I really love. So I think it still turned out pretty, pretty nice. After I was done with that jar, I moved on to the jars that were painted white. Um, so this is where I changed up the lids on these. I realized that the picture had them a little bit lighter, the, the ones from Kirkland. So I started to sand down the darker brown paint that's on there. Like I said, this is chocolate sprinkle. It's acrylic paint. So I sand it down as much as I could. And then I went back over with a heavy dry brushing of some white paint and then also some lighter brown. So this is like a caramel color i don't think it's caramel sprinkle i think it's just like classic caramel um so basically i just um dry brushed uh, those two colors back and forth until i got the desired look that i was going for you guys know like these dupes aren't exactly the same it's just inspiration it's showing us that we can do things on our own if we want then i took my moss colored chalk paint and did my polka dots on one of them it just matches my spring decor and that's what i was going for was to do these dupes to match the spring decor that I will be putting up around my house. So I just did that and then I'm just going to do that all around. Now for the tops on the lids, I'm just taking my 20 mm beads. I'm giving them a heavy dry brushing of that classic caramel color and then hot gluing them on the top. For my third jar, I'm going to use these adhesive rub on transfers, cut off one piece of the, um, fl the flower, um, uh, adhesive thing and then I mixed white and crimson chalk paint to get this pretty pink color and all I'm doing is stippling on the um, paint with the flower i really really like this um i started to do more paint um when i first started and then i did less paint so i can get more of that rustic you know kind of weathered look on it and i think it's so 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 pretty i love this paint color i think they all turned out really really nice and i think they're super fun For the next DIY, I am going to recreate this candle holder. Now, it's not that much. It's only 15 bucks, but it's always way more fun to make our stuff, right? And I'm going to make two of them for less than $5. So I'm starting off with these candle holders from Dollar Tree, along with two more of these saucers and then two yo-yos. So the first thing you want to do is take the string out of your yo-yo. It's super easy. All you have to do is unravel it and then spin it around a couple times and it'll come off. Then the next thing I did is use a combination of E6000 and hot glue and put those saucers upside down on top of the first candle holder. And then I put my first yo-yo on top of that saucer. And then after that, I did another saucer right side up on top of the yo-yo. And then my other saucer upside down on top of the first saucer. You see what I'm doing? I'm trying not to confuse you. <laughs> but then I put that on top and then another yo-yo and then one more saucer. So that way it's, so it's the right side up. So it's opened up and I can put a candle inside of it. And really using this combination of E6000 and hot glue definitely gave me my short-term, long-term hold, but I did let this sit overnight. And this is how my configuration came out and how both of them are. And here's the shorter one. After they were completely dry, I went ahead and took my white chalk paint and gave them a nice thick coat of that. Once that was done, then I took my antique wax paint and it gave it a heavy dry brushing now this one was a little bit tricky i wanted it to be as close to the kirkland's um candle holder as i possibly could get it because i really 
love the look of it. So I kept going back and forth and playing with the white and the antique. Um, I did notice though that more of the white was in like the grooves and like the ribbed part of the candle holder. So I tried to, to centralize my white paint in those areas. And I think I did a good job on it. It was my first time doing candle holders of this kind of nature. And I really love the way that they turned out. And I'm just super excited that I made two of them with yo-yos and saucers from the Dollar Tree. I mean, who could have known, right? But they're so gorgeous to me. All right, moving on to this wreath topped window pane. It is so gorgeous. $89.99 is definitely out of my budget. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this for less than a dollar. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> So I already had on hand these things, but if you don't, then this will cost you about two bucks. Taking um, one pack of these paint stir sticks from Lowe's, I cut them um, with my miter um, saw box thing, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> into that 90 degree. Is it 90 degrees? What is this degree? I don't know. It's the furthest like diagonal that you can get. Excuse my voice. I don't know. I guess it's going out. And then I just sand it down the edges to get a smoother finish and then painted all four of my sticks using my Waverly chalk paint in white. I did more of a heavy dry brushing on this and then I took my classic caramel color again and did more heavy brushing on over um, the pieces again and realized that it was just a little bit too heavy so I had to go back um, with my white uh, chalk paint and give it a little bit more um, paint. Now I'm going to hot glue my pieces together and I'm actually using this wood glue that Sure Bonder sent me. wanted to try it out and see how it works and how it holds up and let me tell y'all it works out so 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 good these pieces are not going anywhere so um i just hot glued those together i should have turned it on the back side and stapled it with my husband's staple gun but instead i decided to get some craft sticks and just cut those down to size and hot glue them together to get a supportive hold but next time when i'm handling more of these wood projects i'm going to go ahead and just you know use his staple gun um, because i, I want to start doing a little bit more wood projects projects here in the future but for now I just used the wood glue that Sherbonder sent me along with these little um, um, craft sticks oh I can't talk today <laughs> After that, I took these um, skewers from Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree has those tall skewers. Usually I only see them around in the summer, like when people are like barbecuing or even like Memorial Day or 4th of July. So yeah, usually it's in the summer when I see them. So all I'm doing is measuring them out to fit inside of the window. And all I did is just took my... Um, floral wire cutters and just cut it it was so easy at first i tried to do it with like a utility knife and some scissors and it was just taking too long and i'm like duh amber you have these you know wire cutters just use these it's super easy and it definitely was so all i did was kind of eyeballed the uh, measurement and just cut those down to size and then I painted them to match the uh, frame then I turned the frame on the back side and then started to hot glue these in the corners and where they needed to be um, it took a little while because you have to make sure that the glue sets before you move it um, in the future I will probably just use smaller um, paint star sticks like the one gallon ones um with this but this was still fine it still holds up really really nicely then for my wreath i picked up this wreath from target it was 10 bucks and i thought it was perfect it was actually supposed to go somewhere else in my house but i thought this would be great for it so all i did was just tie it with some jute onto the top because the wreath is a little bit too heavy for the skewers for it to hang on but if you want to put like a command strip like with a hook on it um i would probably recommend doing that as well but I don't have any on hand so that's why I just tied the jute on there and I think it works perfectly and it looks really beautiful but I love it and I think it's so pretty. All 
right dolls that's all i have for you today i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't make sure you subscribe and hit the bell yeah make sure you head over to jenny's channel to see what she came up with in her kirkland's dupes be blessed stay safe and i will see y'all on the next one bye your day with me You waited for me to do that? <laughs> Much for spending part of your day with me. Can, can I be my own person? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Caleb. <laughs> if you're not new, hey, so I can't. Really? I want. You saw. Y'all see this? What are y'all doing? We just Redecorating? Isaiah, stop. stop.